Welcome, I'm Daniel from L2 Education and again we're here with Maya for another On The Couch. You might have already seen our video about Aussie slang with Maya guessing my Australian slang. Now the fun is Maya is going to show me some American slang. American slang. So yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Um, obviously being an English teacher, I, I get exposed, I teach with Americans, so I might know some of it, but I reckon... Uh, or due to media, like a lot of these are common in TV shows or movies or music yeah. um, recently. But I'm excited for the ones that are brand new. Yeah. Um, I imagine for many of our viewers, they wouldn't have seen as many. So um, yeah, take it away, hey? Okay, so uh, the US, like Australia, is a big country, and so different areas of the US have different kind of slang words. So today I'm going to show you Midwest slang and West Coast slang. Cool. Now, now again, when you say Midwest... I mean the middle of the United States. Yeah. So like Minnesota, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, that kind of area. And so is that... Right in the middle. Is that the Bible Belt or the Rust Belt? Rust. Oh, look at me showing off, right? <laughs> it's not the Bible Belt. It's the... So, yeah. <laughs> Rust Belt. Right? Um, the Rust Belt? Or is it also... <laughs> and again, I hope I'm not... Jumping ahead with all these words or showing off. Um, is that also known as the flyover states? Yes, it is known as the flyover states. That's not one of my words though. So. Okay, and, and, but, okay tell, tell their viewers, why are they called the flyover states? Um, because aside from Chicago, there's really nothing to see there, which is the kind of the, when you fly over them to go from the east coast to the west coast to the west coast to the east coast, you fly over the middle and nobody really goes. You bring up another point about Chicago. Is Chicago East Coast? No. Yeah. Chicago's Midwest. That's, I mean, again, it, yeah. it's not like on a map, but I, I found more and more recently in media. Mm. And again, obviously, you know, it's becoming, you know, always the second city for comics, but also um, a lot of stuff, the new TV shows. Dick Wolf's doing a lot of stuff out of Chicago. Yeah, but, or New Girl is also set in Chicago. No, New Girl, sorry, set in L.A., but one of the characters is from Chicago. And also, the um, the current president has spent a lot of time, you know, in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's, he's, from he's from Hawaii. But he was a state senator from Illinois. That's like, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's a senator from <laughs> Chicago. I mean, he, you know, he, uh, but, um, no. Anyway, yes, so Midwest and... And West back Coast. to the, yeah, and the West Coast. Yes, West Coast would be like California. I, so I'm from California, so a lot of these words are familiar to me yeah. and common for me. But if I were to say some of these words outside of California, people would look at me a little strange. And, and that's what I mean is like, so we, we get the influence that, you know, East Coast is New York, mm -hmm. West Coast is LA. Or San Francisco. So San Francisco, <laughs> but California. California. But, but is, I don't know, is there anything between Seattle and California? Yes, Oregon. Okay, Oregon. Yeah. Is Oregon and is Oregon West yes. Coast? Well, that's or is it the Northwest? So it's the big Northwest, but it's still lumped into that West Coast mentality. I feel like they're very much the same mentality as people from like is that the West Coast, yeah, yeah. So, as opposed to people from the East Coast. I feel like they think differently. Yeah, no, but it's also <laughs> the term is West Coast is is West a very West. California <laughs> thing more than Northwest. Yeah, I'm not West Coast. <laughs> yeah, so West Coast. Yeah. All right, well, fantastic. We'll take it, you know, okay. what, what's that first word? So the first word is an adjective. Yeah. And it's sketchy or sketch. I usually say sketchy. Well, and again, again I, feel, the, uh... I feel, well, it's not about drawing something, making a sketch, a sketch artist. Sketchy is the Australian, I don't know if we did this last time, dodgy. Dodgy, yes. Yeah, or like unsafe. Untrustworthy. Kind of untrustworthy. Uh... It's like, oh, like that's sketchy. Like I don't feel comfortable necessarily doing that. Yeah, and and again in in Australia we we're familiar with that word, but as I said, dodgy mm. would dominate it. We wouldn't use sketchy um, as much. Uh, but, but you would understand what. Oh, it definitely, means. definitely. Yeah. And again, vocalization. So yeah, yeah. I, I say yeah, ping pong. I got that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one dusty. Apart from obviously, <laughs> if you look around, you know, I haven't cleaned recently, so yeah. um. No, I don't know dusty. So dusty is meant, to, a dusty kind of means undesirable. So 
So like, oh, that's like a dusty, that's a dusty book. Like, I don't want to read that book. It's, I don't want to touch it. It's undesirable. Very like upper California, like Northern right. California. Dusty. Like dusty. And and what about people? Can people be people dusty? People can be dusty. It's just, a lot of rap songs, popular rap songs now, will use dusty, dusty women. Oh, <laughs> but, cool. No, I mean, dusty, to, dust, <laughs> dusty is dusty. is only a you know maybe a boy's name. Yeah. But no, no. Well, dusted is a boy's name. Yeah, yeah. The, but, the most American sounding boy's name yeah. ever. But dusty is a isn't name. Dwayne or you know <laughs> undesirable. So you don't want to be called dusty or be referred to as dusty. Oh, cool. Oh, that that is a new one for me. Yeah. Uh, okay. So if I say like I have to bail. Ah, uh, leave. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking like bail ones, like, but yeah. I have to bail. Yeah, and that that's one that's very um permeated through television, TV, television and yeah. media. Yeah. So and when that, you have or... to get out of somewhere quick, you bail. The other big American one, at least. I don't know, it's probably any more that we always heard, never really used, was bounce. Bounce, yeah, that's very, that's very old. If you yeah. said old, the bounce now, you'd be yeah. like, oh, that's I'm really cool. old okay. fashioned. You know? Now it's bail. Wasn't that a Timberlake song or something? Justin Timberlake yeah. song about bounce, bounce, I don't know. Yeah, but to bail is to, you know. Same, so just to leave quickly, bail. Yeah. Also the same, bounce is also the same. Cool. Cool. Okay, so if I say, hey, hey Daniel, it's been a minute. I, I, I've heard it sometimes, I, I assume it, it means that it's long time no see. Yeah. It's as in it, it's been a while. The English, he's actually very from the West Coast. Yeah. yeah. So it's been a minute. It's been a minute. So it's not a t length of time. It's like, it's, what well, it is a length of time, but it's not a short length of time. It's a long length of time. And, and, and for you West Coast kids, mm -hmm. How long is the length of time before you'd really say I'd start using it? Is it a week, just a minute, or a month, or? A... Usually it's longer. It's a couple months to a year, like a year plus. Cool. So like, oh, I haven't thought of that for a minute. Like, it's been, it's been a long time since wow. like, I thought about this thing. Interesting. And, yeah. and if someone says to me, oh, hey, Dan, it's been a minute, how do I respond? Usually just continue the conversation. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's been a minute, it's been two minutes. It's been two minutes, yeah. So it just means a long period of extended time. Wow. Yeah, or sometimes it's like kind of like something nostalgic too. Like, so like, oh, I haven't had this since I was a kid. Like, it's been a minute since I've had this. Oh, cool. With a nostalgic feeling too. Uh, so. And again, I've got a feeling that, you know, let's say myself or Australians, the English, could pick up easily from the way you speak. Mm -hmm. But I reckon second language learners would have a lot of trouble yeah. because they hear minute, it's been a minute, ah, oh, you know, very short time, ah, uh, but so yeah, that, that could be a really complicated. But really this good is also one. like very Californian. Yeah. I've never heard anyone that's not Californian say it's been a minute. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's very, very Southern California. Oh, well, Southern California. <laughs> Southern California. San Diego. Yeah, maybe? like San Diego, LA. You know? It's been a minute. Yeah. Uh, Tijuana. Yeah, well, it's Mexico. I'm joking. <laughs> Isn't all the California northern occupied, occupied northern Mexico? Northern Mexico. Yeah. We'll get political here again, you know. Yeah. Okay, so next one. Hella. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's hella cool. Or, that's, and that's hella, hella not name. hella. Hella. Not H, not hella, but hella. Hella. I mean, hell of, as in great grand, it's, as in hella cool means very cool. Yeah. So yeah. hella, we sometimes younger people. Yeah. Again, it's a little. It's starting to become a little more outdated. But younger people replace the word, the adverb, very with hella. Hella. So like that's hella cool, or like you're hella late, or I'm I'm hella tired, or I'm hella thirsty. Very. Yeah. I'm not sure the origins of why hella became hella, but it's a very very California thing to say hella. I mean, I imagine hell of, mm. as in I mean again, let's yeah. say. England, but Australia, we, we would use, it's been a hell of a day, it's been hell, it's an emphasis of that. Yeah. Now, but again, Americans again, when I hate the it, word, yeah. American, <laughs> the word hell in America, or at least American culture, what we see of America, mm. the word hell is seen as very bad because you are crazy religious people, mm. in our mindset. Um, so do American, California, American soccer mums or soccer moms this is more try to be cool, <laughs> no, no, but try to be cool because they hear their teenage daughter saying, do they say it's been, it's been, uh, H-E, double oh. hockey, hockey sticks, ah? Uh? <laughs> no, I'm just being silly, yeah. but yeah, no, just, as I said, it's, again, hella 
never really heard of it, I can understand it, yeah. but to me that really brings up the whole idea of American slang using hell, mm -hmm. as we get the feeling that hell is such a, a cuss word. Yeah, so it, I, honestly it probably does originate from hell of us. Because actually there's an, <laughs> I don't know if you've got it or you understand, but cuss mm. is such an American slang word. Oh really? Nobody in the world Seriously? cuss. Oh, I didn't know that. Cuss <laughs> words. Like you say cuss words. I mean, what is a cuss word? Yeah. Like we, we talk about swear words or rude words, yeah. but cuss, we don't understand where cuss starts and stops because hell uh -huh. is it's, considered a cuss word in some states. And it's the thing, whereas <laughs> hell is just, you know, it's a place that only Catholics e e believe in, you yeah. know, and we don't care about it. But yeah, whereas hell, I mean, especially in Australian normal society, friends or whatever, hell is, is you know, is an emphasis word, like you've taken heller. Mm -hmm. But we see our perception of American culture through the media is that hell is such a not set in polite society. And that's what we find weird. And that's where it gets in that cuss words, where it's like, yeah, cuss words weird to us. Oh, I didn't to know me. that was a thing. Yeah, that's so a thing. I learned. Yeah. That, yeah, hella. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, hella. But yeah, again, one. also, like, it's more primarily younger people. Older people wouldn't well, say well. that. My grandmother wouldn't say, oh, that's hella cool. Well, that would yeah. be very strange. Well, our, our viewers <laughs> want to send young. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. We know these people watch and they want to be going down the East Coast yes. surfing with, you know, West nobody Coast. wants to be yeah. West Coast. <laughs> they don't want to be saying gnarly and bodacious and rad anymore. Yeah. They want to be saying hella. Well, gnarly, yeah. Is gnarly still cool? Oh, but also, good. it's older. It's on yeah. its way out. Yeah. What about rad? Rad? Uh, I used to say rad, but yeah. again, it's like it's one of those ones that's like on its way out, and it's slowly being replaced. Bodacious? Bodacious. I've never heard anyone ever say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Fantastic. What's next? Next. Okay, so now we're moving to the Midwest. So the last time we had this conversation, yeah. um, I'm going to bring it up again. Hop. Yeah, pop. Well, pop. from the last time, again, well, when we hear pop, our first instinct for Americans is like father or grandfather, and I don't understand when which is which. Mm. So it's the it's a paternal person mm. in a person's life. They call them pop yep. a lot more than non-Americans. But I know this also means a mm -hmm. a soft drink, yes, a, a carbonated a, beverage, a soda. Like <laughs> now, um, when I moved to the Midwest, when people say, "Oh, can I have a pop?" It drew, it drove me crazy for the first two years until I came home to California and I went to a restaurant and I asked for a pop and everyone looked at me like I was crazy. Now, and again, <laughs> so, and again is it only the canned beverage or is it any it's beverage? Any, it's any carbonated flavored sugary beverage is pop. Oh. Yeah, and you don't ask, I mean, you can ask for a soda in the Midwest, they know what you mean, and it's very interchangeable, but if you bring pop out of the Midwest and try to transplant it in the East Coast or the West Coast, you will look super Midwest. Oh, well. Now, yeah, and as we could go forward, that we never use the word pop unless yeah. we take it, except for the one instance, Elko Pop. Mm. You know an Elko Pop? Yeah. 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 And you, you also call them Elko Pops? Nope. Yeah. Do you have Elka Pops we in America? Do. Yeah. What do you call them? Mixed drinks. Mixed drinks, right? Yeah. Uh, but well, not, but there's no other like differentiation between Elko Pops. So, uh, so yeah. There's a differentiation here, but the, in the US there isn't. Because, yeah, mixed drinks is pretty much. I mean, like I, I, that's the sign. It's like, right? Malt beverages? Oh, do you, do you guys do that too? A malt beverage, we. Al the Elko Pop you guys do is like. The really low quality, bad sugary. Alcohol well, that's the thing. An alcohol pop like is, is a is a you know the typical ones are a Bacardi Brizo, a Sub Zero, yeah. a um, oh. Vodka Cruiser. Um, are the seen as more girly, yeah, um, sugary drinks. Yeah, so we just call those mixed drinks or like. Whereas a mixed beverages. drink would be see again when you it's go totally to the, different. when you go to the bottle o the bottle shop and you see the word mixed drinks under there is usually the cans of Jack and Coke yeah. or so for um, us, that's Bundy all, and Coke. It's yeah. all included together. Yeah, whereas yeah. alcohol pops are, are definitely the lemon, the the um, the girly uh, alcoholic Midori. drinks. Midori, it looks like Midori in soda water. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Actually, that, that's a good point. You may know, because I see this on American TV and we, I don't know, what is a 7 and 7? Oh, I do know this, but I forgot. It's 
Oh, I know. It's like, no, it's this kind of alcohol mixed with like club soda, isn't it? Well, I imagine the seven is, I'm going to guess the seven would be seven up. Yeah, maybe. With like. But what's the alcohol like? I think it's a whiskey. I think it's, isn't it? Do you know? I, no, no, no. That's, that's literally oh, the. I need to know because I do know this in the back of my head, but I can't. I can't that, that again, Mer many American TV and probably many West Coast. Yeah. Um, you know, like David Duchovny, whatever, <laughs> you know, would be asking for a seven and seven. It's a very common American TV drink. Yeah. But I've never met anybody who actually knows what a seven like, can tell me what the actual mixture yeah. is. Um, I have I have heard of it before. I just um, off my head I can't. And and it, what's the juice for a gin and juice? Grape juice, always grape juice. Grape but juice. But it's like a wrap thing. It's not like a the yeah, thing well, I I gonna, wrap thing. Yeah. It's, it's not like a normal like thing. But it's always grape juice. <laughs> and and again, it is is grape flavored juice, which we yeah. pretty much don't have in Australia. I mean, there's one or two, but. Is that a, a very African American drink, or is that just the perception from <laughs> Western media or American it's media? Pointing the line. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, People want to know. Yeah, this is the thing. it's a it's a popular drink for the African American community. So like, yeah, yeah, no, that part. But is it drink? only? No, because I grew up drinking grape juice. Cool. Yeah, both green grape, uh, green grape juice, or like white grape juice and purple grape juice. Yeah. Like in Japan. No, again, it's one of those things. Like, people talk about fried chicken. Mm. Oh, the, you know, African Americans love fried chicken. Everyone it's like, loves everybody loves, loves fried chicken. chicken. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a great, like, yeah. done well. And I mean, almost every culture has their own version okay. of fried yeah. chicken. So it's one of those things. Is um, grape juice, Yeah. you know, that's the thing. Is no, it just, it's very popular. Yeah, it's just the everyone. media making a thing of it's this drink. Oh, but it's I actually. I just realized, no, you guys don't do it here. <laughs> that what? would be like, really sad, grape juice. Yeah. Grape juice isn't a thing here. It's no, it's no, different. no, it's not. We, you know, again, it's. But it's a thing in Japan. Yeah, but Japan <laughs> is a colony of America. Yeah. <laughs> um, somewhat. But, and again, for us, it'd be way too sweet. Like, yeah. Um, but you guys do cordial. Yeah, cordial is a wonderful thing. Cordial is. That's Sugar a, that they put in water and call it, like, drink. But we do cordial too. No, you I don't. Kool-Aid Kool -Aid. Kool -Aid. Kool -Aid is not cordial. You've not had cordial yet, have you? I have had cordial. Yeah, have you had yeah. some good coddies? I've had, no, I've had like lime cola. Yeah? Lime cola. I think that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a coddies drink. Yeah. My dad picks the fruit that goes to coddies. Yeah, or like fruit cups. But no, oh but no, no, I mean cordial and Kool-Aid are two it different things. The yeah. same. No, no. Okay, no. next word. Anyway, you haven't been, someone probably hasn't made you cordial Someone properly. has made me cordial, and yeah. I still thought it was disgusting. Yeah. Okay, next word. Okay, also, super Midwest, specifically super Minnesotan. So I'm like, oh, hey, Daniel, come to my house, we're going to have hot dish. What do you think? Oh, no, I, I was thinking it was the same thing as a dream boat. I thought you were referring to a nice young man, but... No, hot dish. We're going to go to your place and have a hot dish. Have some hot dish. And it's not just a literal as in hot meal? Like, that. like no, it's more specific. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. So a hot dish is actually like any type of casserole. Yeah. Oh. Typically, it has tater tots, so like the little potatoes in it. But hey, it hey, can get, be get back, any, get back. What what is a tater tot? Uh, they're potatoes that are fried. And like they're like kind of like a weird cylinder shape. But yeah, you guys call them gems, right? Potato gems. Uh, yeah, potato gems. But again, do adults, do people. Do post pubescent people ever eat yes, po they, potato tots? That's yes, the they difference. Do. <laughs> Fish fingers and tater yes, tots. Yes, people eat tater tots. Like, and normal. people who don't uh, smoke jazz cigarettes, yeah, people, marijuana, they yeah, eat them. People as well. eat tater tots, especially in hot dish. So, like, it's common in hot in casseroles in the Midwest. So, so a good hot dish would have tater tots. What else? Some kind of meat, some kind of sauce, and you bake it. Usually cheese too. But hot dish is any type of casserole in the Midwest. Oh, I, I gotta look up. I gotta look. I, I gotta feel like this is like a, a super it's a American. Mid, it's a Midwest American thing, but I've never heard this phrase outside of the Midwest. And how many tens of thousands of calories are involved with this dish? I'm not sure. It sounds, like, <laughs> you know, it sounds very cheesy, yeah. like cheesy. No, I mean I, America. So. And and again, would it be a would it be also known as a comfort dish? From yes, the sounds of yeah, it? definitely. Every, it's, yeah. But it's like a, definitely a family type meal. Yeah, no, it does yeah. sound delicious. You don't, you don't eat the hot dish by yourself. You share it. And, and is it cooked communally, communally, or is it just cooked in the kitchen it's and you bring it out? in the kitchen and brought out and you put it in the oven, but you bake it like kind of you would a casserole. Cool. Is casserole a thing here? Yeah, casserole's a thing okay, everywhere. Cool. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> but 
but again, what I think is that we have a, a casserole is a very standard very dish, and that whereas I think you've got you you invent a lot of different things like yeah, I can never dish, imagine hot dish can be anything. There's no specific meat or ingredients for a hot dish. It could be any type of casserole. Yeah, whereas the things in a hot pot or well, a pot cooked and that is a casserole, but. I've got a feeling you get much weirder with your hot dishes than mm. yeah. We probably do. I know there's a weird fish one. The shed yeah. one. So yeah. Cool. cool. Okay. Bubbler. Ah also very Midwest. Is this I, I'm gonna guess it's permeate the um at primary school with a drinking fountain? Yes, it's a drinking fountain. Yeah, the we we have the they they that came in some way, like like Going to teaching at schools compared oh, to right. when I was a student. Yeah. The um. But you would never call it this on the West Coast. Oh really? What would they call I it on West Coast? Drinking fountain and water fountain. But I, like primary school kids would be yeah, so. Yeah, like, I was. Told I'm going drinking. to the drinking fountain yeah. to have a beverage. Literally, that was me in primary school. Like I did not know what this was until I moved to the Midwest for university. Yeah. I can't remember what we used to call it because that's the thing it's become. Yeah. In Australian primary schools, it's become the bubblers, but. Oh, it's here too? Uh, yeah, but, but what oh, I'm saying okay. is now, or you yeah. know, when I was last teaching primary school, it was probably 10 years ago now, um, but uh, when I was a young man at primary school, I'm sure we had a different name, something cooler, but yeah, bubblers are... Okay. Um, and why a bubbler? I have no idea. Because just Cause to be, Again, like, I'm not from the Midwest. Okay, but just to be <laughs> clear to the viewers, yeah. so they're drinking fountains, and again, you're, uh, do you drink out of a trough or are they individual ones? So when I was in school. school, there was a trough. Yeah, yeah. so the trough yeah. in that. Now, just to be clear, they're not carbonated water. No. You know, because again, if someone's in a bubble, oh, maybe bubbly water, maybe. No, it's, just it's straight tap, tap water. water. And again, it's, um, just to explain to people, it's usually, a, you know, for the primary school, or the elementary yeah. school, um, it's, like you know, a it's a trough of three or four or five, six that the kids go and drink, because kids should be, everybody should be drinking lots of water, keep your kidneys healthy. Yeah, no, it's good. But I've got some, I've got some, those are new ones. Okay, here's another one, uh, concrete. Well, obviously there's the material which gives it to what we believe is something solid, something you can believe in, as in concrete plans. Well, if I told you you can eat this one? Um, I would say you are crazy <laughs> and you want uh, to look after your teeth better than eating concrete. Yeah, no so idea. actually I found out there's a place in Melbourne that does concrete recently. Yeah, that just opened up, so I got really excited. Um, what it is is... It's a thick custard like ice cream with things mixed into it. So it's a summertime dessert. It's like thick ice cream with like candy or fruit or like bits of whatever mixed into it that you eat. And like, like, I'm just trying to imagine this. I, I sort of, There's a place in Melbourne that does it. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but, um, but I mean, how big do you usually get a serving? I of? mean, it's not that big. It's not a big thing. Yeah. Um, it's usually a small cup with like yay ice cream. Yeah. But, like, so if you were to order a small gelato, it'd be, like, a coffee the same size. Yeah. But, but, like, I mean, as kids, you get your ice cream and you swirl it around and it comes like, a mixture. No, no, no. But they that swirl it for you. So that you go, oh, yeah, I'll have, like, a strawberry concrete, right? Yeah. So they'll give you a vanilla custard. Yeah. Throw in some strawberries. I mean, you say custard, so it's custard, not, not it's ice a, cream. So it's a really, really thick ice cream. But custard's a whole different dish to yes. ice cream. Well, okay. Are you talking about custard as the consistency or the fish, the, the, the food? It's not. It's not what you guys call custard. Okay, yeah. So this is where it's getting confusing. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ice. We're cream. confused. Don't worry about you guys. We're very confused. <laughs> He's confused. Um. So it's like imagine ice cream. Yeah, I imagine thicker, ice cream every moment of my but, day. Yes. But thicker, like a really, yeah, yeah, really yeah. thick ice cream. Yeah. That's what we call custard. Now, now, and again, like I'm picking it up and and it will like. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh. And so you have that, and then you throw in... You throw in, like, mix-ins, so, like, either candy bar, like, bits of candy bars, or fruit, or other whatever to your heart. Fruit, heart's like, you're real People, fruit. Yeah, so you can order it with, like, actual fruit in it, mm -hmm. and, and they'll mix it up, and yeah. they'll give it to you. And, and you like, eat it, what, with your... With a spoon. With a spoon? I'm not too sure. I mean, again, why why destroy <laughs> ice cream? But no, it's, um, it's not ice cream. It's called custard. We call it frozen custard. You call it... Concrete, but yeah, frozen right, custard. Concrete oh, is oh, sorry, frozen on, custard with mixer. Hang on, so so as well as concrete as this mixer, yeah. frozen custard, as in very thick ice cream, very, very thick ice is cream. another dish you will be common. Uh, in the Midwest. In, so this, and again, concrete's Midwest. 
uh, frozen custard. Yeah, frozen custard is also very. It's very Midwest because Midwest is known for farm. Midwest is known for dairy. Yeah, yeah. So dairy dishes, so concretes like Wisconsin, Wisconsin yeah. or Minnesota has too. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, now, and where would I buy this though? Um, there's actually so there's lots of local uh, dairy places to get concretes, and they yeah. will be listed on the menu as concrete. Yeah, but but again, I mean, is this like a diner at a Seven Eleven? Like no, like there's specific places called the Concrete called, House or like da dairy places that will sell concretes, like ice cream places, like yeah. ice cream places that will have also frozen custard. There's cool. also a popular burger and, chain was, called Culver's that has concrete. Oh, I was gonna say because <laughs> Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen has blizzards, so it's have you had a blizzard? No. Let's say no. Okay. I, I don't know what I've had, but yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Blizzard is like a concrete, so for a Blizzard, it's done with soft serve ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, so concrete is different from a Blizzard because the cream in it is much thicker, like custard. Yeah. See, now, you, get, you know, you used to be able to, you, you get your ice cream mm -hmm. and, like, say, soft serve, and you get a bit of a flake, you get a piece of flake in it. Yeah, we're much more advanced than that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, it sounds interesting. Um, that, yeah, now, again, when you talk about these places to buy, they're not attached to a dairy farm, they're a separate No, they're store. usually a separate entity, like in a city yeah. or whatever. So the one time I had con a concrete was in Milwaukee, which yeah. is in Wisconsin, and it was in the middle of the city, Yeah. like not near a dairy farm, but they had a specific dairy farm that they got the custard from. Cool. So a lot of these places are very, like, a lot of it is very local. Yeah. But yeah, if you ever go to the Midwest, please try a concrete. And if you said a concrete... In California, people would have no idea. No idea. But oh. if you said like a blizzard, because Dairy Queen is a national chain, yeah. everyone would know. That's a blizzard, eh? Hey? Blizzard everywhere else, concrete in America. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a McFlurry. Like, so, <laughs> very, very like low, high quality McFlurry. Okay, yeah. no, again, um, okay. I'm not au fait with a McFlurry, to be honest. <laughs> I think that's it. That's it? Yeah. Well, that was cool. Yes. That was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I definitely um, got some new things I'll have to try and remember and, and try and impress some uh, Midwesterners. Some Midwestern <laughs> girls, you know? Yeah. But yeah, oh no, it's fantastic. And um, and what, what's your favorite slang? Uh, my favorite slang? Yeah. Um, honestly, I really like hella. Hella. It's really fun to say. Yeah. Yeah. Hella. Hella. I used to impress my students like, oh, I'm gonna teach you like California slang. Yeah. So we're gonna say hella. It's like the mecha of like California. Cool. Yeah. And um, what? And has there been any slang words or what slang words or American words generally that you don't consider slang that if you in your time in Australia people have just found weird? Weird. Or what? What? Anything that people like. You're talking, you're cray cray. Mm, not really, again, because like a lot of it is like popularized by media. So with context, people are able to understand what I'm trying to say. And and you're saying, well, this is the thing is, do you find an age different? I don't know how many, what, what sort of range mm -hmm. of people you speak to. Yeah. But would you say most Australians, like of different ages, if we talk about, let's say, the 20s, the 40s, the 60s, or... Mm -hmm. Broad, rudely speaking, do they all find very comfortable with most American slang or not? I feel like for the most part, like in my experience, because I guess when I speak, I don't realize this is not a word used here. Yeah. In my head, like I didn't know cuss word is not no, cuss something. Word, cuss word we, we know what we hear. Yeah, but, but I didn't but know it was something that you guys didn't use. I assumed everyone used a, cuss we word. Didn't, we didn't use, but also we don't actually really know what, is know what the definition of a cuss word because... Again, I reckon if you ask most, let's say even English people, mm -hmm. um, you, you know, what is it, you know, what's a cuss word compared to say a swear word? A cuss word is any word the American person doesn't like. Yeah. Whereas I think in, let's say in, in non-American English, a swear word is quite well defined. Um, you know, there's some yeah. fringes that some people have offence to, but everybody would have a clear definition. These, these are it. I, I can go through them. I mean... And again, if you go back to um, especially American, George Carlin had the seven words you can't use on television. Mm -hmm. Hell was hell one of them. Maybe, possibly. yeah, actually, maybe it was, but that's yeah. yeah. Whereas again, it's no, it's like no big deal. Yeah, so like I notice a lot of the time, like when I'm speaking, I don't realize that it's 
slang or American oh, slang. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, because so I'm so convinced it's normal. Like before I moved abroad, I thought hello was a normal thing. Yeah. And then I realized nobody says that but me because <laughs> California. You know, you know, and, yeah. and it's a great point. And, and again, that's especially for, um, you know, first language speakers going other places, but also a lot for second language speakers to understand the English you learn, and especially the, you know, even the textbook English, forget about the other English you learn from speaking and language exchange, or from even from us, different contexts, people have no idea. Um, or uncomfortable, or, or think you're weird or strange. So yeah, you've got to be mm -hmm. always conscious of the context. But yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, fantastic, Maya. Well, I, I've enjoyed another on the couch. Hope you have. Yes, I definitely have. All right. Well, hope you have enjoyed. Um, again, all the buttons for social media. I mean, just open the window and yell it to your friends. Superliminal marketing. Um, enjoy yourself, and we hope to see you again. Goodbye. Bye bye. Uh, you know, you're going to be in the game show, the, 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 the credits are rolling. <laughs>